side note before I start, I um I will be wearing this jumper a hundred percent of the time in my vlogs. So get used to it, okay? Thanks. It is absolutely hammering it down and I now have to walk in this atrocious weather. So I thought you could come with me. Hello and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um I actually haven't vlogged at all today. It is currently 3 pm, quarter past three, um, and I'm just leaving at work because I didn't actually just have a shift. I came here, brought my laptop with me, my Mac, and did some editing while having some food because I had a long ass break from about one o'clock until four. So I thought I'd just make my way to Cafe Nero, get a hot chocolate, maybe we'll back up to uni. Um, I do have some updates which I'll tell you later, but I've just been chilling all day, editing some videos on the go which has like changed my life but now I'm about to go and get a hot chocolate because I've worked my bath while eating so I'm gonna go reward myself with some hot chocolate. It is me, it is still Monday, I'm gonna try and do this vlog right because last week's weekly vlog was such a flop, it was unreal, my first week at uni I just couldn't vlog, it just didn't happen and I'm really sorry about it. I edited it today while I was out on my travels like i said i do have a few updates uh in terms of reading i decided to stop reading josh and hazel's guide to not dating for now because i am suddenly in like a fantasy slash magical realism slash dystopian mood there's no problem in that if i'm not feeling what i set out to read a few weeks ago then i'll just change it i really don't care last night i came up with a plan while callum was here to read all of the graphic novels, poetry collections and shorter novels um, to get through <laughs> on a Sunday. So whether I'm working or whether I'm not working, I obviously won't have uni on a, on a Sunday. I don't think, I hope not anyway. But the past two Sundays I have worked. So I decided to kind of like tactically put all my shorter reads on Sundays so that I can actually get lots of reading done and yesterday's was Saga volume 4 and I gave it a four stars Just thought I would tell you that at the start of this vlog I will update my other vlog in a second because I want to get it rendered. So yeah, I did that last night It was my um challenge to have a child and read something with a baby in it or a child surrounding it It is originally worth five points in the Simsathon, but I used mother load so it was actually worth ten so now I have 14 points i believe i don't know i read two books so far and i've got 14 points which isn't so shabby my main book for this week i have decided to choose city of heavenly fire by cassandra clare because last weekly vlog i think i told you that i decided to scrap siege and saw and ruin rising as my like two of the reads i was just wasn't feeling them so i decided to have this as my um like become the top of your career aka read a finale and decided to finish off the what instruments series i am 50 about 50 pages into this the chapters are so long but i think later after i finish all the stuff i need to do which i'll tell you about in a minute um i'm gonna sit down and have an hour of interrupted reading time with this i'm getting really warm in this jumper maybe i should take it off no it's a great jumper i've got to make a start on some uni reading that i need to do already um I need to prep for it. I could do it tomorrow because it's not due for me to like have finished um, by Friday. So arguably I could leave it until Wednesday. But I want to get it done as soon as I can because like if you start to get into a routine and I don't want to start getting all procrastinating even though we're only two weeks into uni. I'm going to try and do it tonight, maybe tomorrow at the latest because I've got kind of a free day tomorrow apart from going shopping with Callum. So why not just end my day with some um uni reading i also have to clean my room tonight because it is a state and i think i'm gonna get back into the routine like i had when i was in college of every single monday i'm gonna clean my room i've got loads of clean and dirty washing and sorting out ironed washing that needs being put away my cupboard needs cleaning up and i've got loads of youtube videos to watch so i thought i'd just whack them all into my watch later and clean my room just to get them out of the way um so i'm gonna do that but first i need to film my outro and quickly edit it on my laptop so that I can get it to render and the vlog can go up tomorrow because it's already a day late and I'm sorry. That's what the plans are for tonight. Speaking of this Thursday actually, I'm going to go and see the Erasmus which I am absolutely <laughs> thrilled by. Their album which they're touring with, they're like redoing it and like re-performing it everywhere um called dead letters was the first ever album my mum bought me they were like my one direction they were like heaven okay at the time looking back on it now their music is really emo <laughs> and my mum was listening it back 
the other day and she was like, wow, you were such a messed up kid. Why did I encourage this? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go and see them on Thursday. Uh, they're touring with the only album that I ever listened to of theirs. I wasn't obsessed, obsessed with them. It was just that, that album in particular. I'm really excited to see them, like beyond excited. We've had the tickets for absolutely ages. Um, and so we're going to go and see that on Thursday and go with my mom and my sister. And it's going to be a very good night. I'm going to try and dress emo. But things aren't gonna go well, I don't think. My pants were in the background of that shot the entire time. Were they, were they? Just ignore that. <laughs> I need to clean my room, ASAP. So I'm gonna go, but uh, I hope you liked this really mindless chat. And I hope this vlog is a little bit better than last week's because editing it earlier was just a mess. Cause I was like, I didn't vlog at all. and <laughs> None of this makes sense. But yeah, today is Monday the 7th of October it was my brother's birthday yesterday so happy birthday Harrison for like a week ago now but yeah today's the 7th and I've got shit to do <laughs> Tuesday. Today is Tuesday the 8th of October and I actually am going out with Callum today. We're going to go shopping. Uh, Callum is my boyfriend if you're new here. You're probably not but just thought I'd, just thought I'd mention that. I actually got ready early this morning to film and then my camera didn't have enough battery. Well it did, it probably would have. But I am ready to go out anyway. I have been ready for quite a while just waiting for Callum to message me saying that he was ready for us to meet up and I'm going to leave in about half an hour um, but I thought I'd come on and give you some updates. I actually decided to revalv or rebrand kind of my um, Instagram for movies and me filmmaking. I do have a bookstagram and I also have a main one where I just post live stuff. And then I also now have a Instagram specifically for me making films and my love of film. I do have a highlight on Instagram on my main one uh, all about film but i thought it was time for me to make my own like little film one the username is jelly.mp4 so that is j-e-l-l-e-y my last name dot mp4 because i thought it was funny because it was like a file name i don't know it's not funny at all but yeah go and give me a follow on there if you would like to i've spent all morning this morning planning my feed uh, and planning what kind of things i'm going to post on there and i really hope to kind of like just have like a virtual portfolio kind of maybe <laughs> on there um, so when I'm looking back on things, I can say, yeah, I've grown since then. So go ahead and follow me. There's not many pictures and my theme is like yellow slash orange and black and white. It looks good. Okay. Every so often there's like black and white. <laughs> it's fine. I worked it out. I really like it. Last night I managed to get to page. What page should I get to? Um, ooh, Callum messaged me. Hello. That's him probably telling me to get the fuck on with it. <laughs> I managed to get to page 114 of City of Heavenly Fire. I am enjoying it a lot. Uh, I didn't talk about my Devouring Grey read or my Saga Volume 4 read. Um, partly because I read Saga Volume 4 on a Sunday. I don't vlog on Sundays. So I thought I'd talk about this one a little bit more since I didn't talk about those two. I am enjoying this so much. It is the last book in the series, so obviously I can't say much about it. I love these books so much. Coming back to them is like coming home. And if you haven't picked these up yet, what the fuck are you doing? I actually haven't seen the movie of The Mortal Instruments, so I think I might watch that at some point. Maybe I will. <laughs> Only there's much into it. Perfect little dint. And I'm going to read some more on the way to meet Callum and the way back. And I'm going to have about an hour, half an hour to an hour, uninterrupted reading time. Uh, tonight. Yesterday I managed to get two of the chapters I was supposed to read like core texts for understanding media which is one of the modules we are doing and I am so proud of myself. I made really good notes actually let me show you. Mind the mess of my bed. I'm going to tidy this in a minute but this is my like media production year one folder. I'm going to go into town today and get some like sticky tape and um, label it and stuff like that. I have in here so far um, some slides that our lecturer gave us on the um, circuit of culture, which is basically something we use to analyse text in the media to understand them fully. And then here are the notes that I made yesterday. This is just two chapters and I had a diagram, a name and a paragraph of text. 
pretty good though it's all in my own words and i actually understand it like i'm tempted to make my own examples of this i'm really thinking of taking big mouth on the circuit thinking about its production context its consumption context regulation representation and identity yeah that's what i did yesterday that's literally all i did because it was like one o'clock in the morning and i needed to go to bed so that's what i did while we're here i will show you my camera uh it's freshly charged and the memory card is freshly wiped because i just took all the stuff off that i needed to but it's the canon eos m50 it's quite tiny to be fair i was watching a lot of videos on it and they did say it was small and compact and like a proper vlogging video camera oh my God, it's dirty already how have i even managed that anyway <laughs> it is perfect for me what i need it for like coursework uh, and obviously i can borrow anything from the media suite if i really want to i think i'll borrow microphone specifically for uh, the coursework because it just sounds better we played with microphones yesterday i don't really need them for actual videos because this microphone is pretty good in my opinion but obviously they want professional kind of audio visuals writing all that stuff for uni so i think i might just go all out on borrowing stuff like microphones lights and stuff but i think having a base of a camera with a nice lens is good but yeah this is my baby my pride and joy and i hadn't actually showed you it yet so meet my baby i don't even know what that is is that like i don't know it looks like cocaine but it's absolutely not i just realized what it is it's foundation Fuck! really sorry i was turning all the lights on so i can actually see what i'm vlogging i haven't actually uh updated you haven't really vlogged apart from montage and that can get a little bit misleading <laughs> because you don't know what's going on where so me and callum did go out yesterday uh shopping and i got loads of stuff i didn't do like a full haul because half the stuff i got didn't even fit me but we did go in today so i thought i would show you some of the worthwhile stuff that i got yesterday and also some of the stuff that i got today first things first yesterday i got a really nice dress to wear for the rasmus tomorrow seeing the rasmus as you all know this time tomorrow we'll be getting rain going to see them which is amazing i can't wait but i got a nice dress it's like this flannel oversized shirt you'll definitely see it tomorrow obviously when i put it on um so i got that and some fishnets which i will put on tomorrow so you can see that tomorrow which is partly why i didn't want to show you them. but tomorrow i also got some hoop earrings and more excitingly three different lipstick variations they're all from maybelline uh these two are kind of the same color but kind of not they are different shades of plum but this one is red it is in the shade 382 and it's red for me is a matte lipstick in red look at that not to be a beauty girl or anything but look at that but these two are basically the same shade um but in different formats so this one is 388 plum for me which is that one and then this one is in the shade 60 except adair this one is actually an ink crayon so it will swivel up and down and it looks like that the next few things i'm going to show you and update you on are totally not to do with tomorrow at all um but i got two sets as you can hear of festive earrings the first lot are these and they're from primark these are both from primark because i can't resist cheap seasonal stuff from there me and Carol actually got matching ones of these we just got a variation of basic studs hearts pumpkins ghosts i'm wearing the shit out of these this year and in years to come speaking of festive earrings i also got these these are what's jingling in my hand and in the background they are just basic gold hoop earrings but with baubles on which are going to be so annoying for me and my co-workers when i wear them to work but aren't they adorable and they were only two pounds so oh 
couldn't say no. Then I also got a book from a charity shop. I got Cooker Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I own all of the um, Shadow and Bone Grisha trilogy, but I don't own this or Six of Crows yet. But I finally own this. It was in a charity shop, so I got it for cheap. And it's actually in great condition, which is a really good thing. I really wanted to pick stuff up for my room and I did. I got this little plant. I actually had an all deal with this yesterday and a wasp, which was really scary because I'm really afraid of wasps. But this just sits on my desk and it is really, really funky jazzy it adds a little bit of color it is now about five o'clock actually one minute past five and i have to end the sprint that i'm doing in four minutes because they have four minutes left they're reading 25 minutes i think i'm going to set the next sprint to be 45 so that we have a little bit more time i have a little bit more time as well to do my uni reading so technically i will be reading it's just not fictional it's for academic stuff um i can't remember if there's anything else i need to do i think there are some resources in the other folders um for my course but this one is i think the longest one i'm not entirely sure and it's about theories so reading and essay writing and notes will be more important the other ones are kind of practical i need to uh finish the sprint for the sims of fun. i keep flicking my nose i'm gonna finish the sprint for the sims of fun. So my hair's a little bit wild, but I'm about to start my nightly reading. I'm going to read for an hour and then go to bed. So no more social media until tomorrow morning, which has been doing me so much good. Reading for an hour, switching off my phone, or at least putting it on like, um, uh, do not disturb airplane mode. And just reading for an hour with no other distractions is just so good. This chapter is 27 pages long. That is madness. <laughs> Thursday the 10th, it's Rasmus Day, um, and I am wearing my favourite new outfit, or new favourite outfit, grammar's weird, okay, grammar's hot. So it's just comprised of my um, goldstone necklace, my leather jacket, one of these uh, mustard yellow jumpers that I got quite a while ago, uh, and then my funky little trousers that I bought really recently, and I'm having a time of my life. I feel a little jazzy. I feel very tired and you can probably see it on my face um, because I got to page 303, chapter 13 of City of Heavenly Fire last night. I was up way too late reading it and I wanted to read more, but I couldn't because it was already like quarter to 11. And I had a really hard time falling asleep yesterday. So reading this late didn't really help. But yeah, I got to page 303. It actually made me cry because there was a reference to uh, the Infernal Devices. I'm not going to say what, I'm not going to say where, because that would be a huge spoiler for the Infernal Devices. But I will say, if you're thinking of picking the more instruments up, or you're thinking of rereading them, I would highly, highly suggest and recommend that you read them in publication order rather than order of the series, because if you'd have read this without reading uh, the Infernal Devices, which I know a lot of people have done, actually like a major spoiler <laughs> for the Infernal Devices. I think it was around the 2.30 to 2.50, maybe 2.60 mark, um, but you wouldn't have even realise it was a spoiler until you read the phone final devices, which is really funny. So you spoiled yourself without actually knowing it. So yeah, there's that. Uh, I would really highly recommend rereading it or reading it for the first time in publication order. Just Google it or Emma Books has a really good updated um, list of the reading list and how to read the Shadow Hunters to get the most out of it. I highly recommend reading it in publication. Order. I have missed a lot of books. I missed the Bane Chronicles and I also missed Shanghai Academy because I just couldn't be bothered with them. Um, but if you're going to read at least the main series, read them in publication order because I'm doing that and it just made me fall in love with it a lot more uh, and made me have a better connection to it. So yeah, I'd highly recommend that because you miss a lot of stuff and a lot of references. But yeah, so I'm going to be off to uni in a minute with my frizzy ass hair. I only have one lesson today. I have it from 9 until 11 and then I'm going to come home. I'll be home by about like half past 12. I'm going to pre-film a video for next Thursday. There's a video going up today um, and there's also, I also need to pre-film for next week. So I'm like a week in advance. I have a really long day tomorrow. We'll go into that tomorrow. We won't go into that now because I'll get stressed. But yeah, I'm going to go to uni now. 
Uh, I've got a writing for the media lecture, so it should be fun. I can't dwell on this too much because I'm running a bit late, but the sky looks gorgeous and I thought I'd just document it. It looks amazing. We're in Frankie and Benny's. Uh, Mum's went out for a cigarette, and so we're in Frankie and Benny's just drinking our drinks because we're waiting for our food. This is the shirt dressing that I got. I'm also wearing fishnets and boots and a belt. Good, and earrings. Good, wig, wig, wig. We got a lot of stairs because people don't know what goths are. Well, we're not, we're not dressed as goths, we're just dressed like alternatively. Yeah, that's... Okay. People are staring at us. I'm gonna enjoy this big old milkshake, um, but welcome to the grandpa section of this vlog.
Friday. It is now the day after Rasmus Day the 11th. Um, and you know, speaking of, I've got a mug. <laughs> I also got a tour t-shirt and I'm wearing it today with my fancy jeans or trousers. I don't even know if they count as jeans. I also got a signed edition, a fan edition of the Dead Letters album. It is two sides, I believe. CD1 is the original Dead Letters, which was uh, made in 2003. So I was three years old and I had it when I was three years old. And then CD2 is like kind of like an anniversary like, edition because it has been 15 years since Dead Letters came out. And so they put together this, did a tour um, and let the fans like choose what songs they put on and what songs they played essentially. So that was really nice. I knew quite a lot of them. Um, although I haven't really been keeping up with them that much over my like teen period. So I'm glad that they're back in my life. That's a pun, but none of you will get it. <laughs> back in the picture. I have all the songs in my head, like a, a huge mashup in my head. But it was such a good night and I spent way too much money on merch, which, you know, what's new. It is currently eight o'clock and I need to finish getting ready. What I need to do is I need to put earrings back in, get the remainders of my bag ready, finish my breakfast. I can't remember if I told you yesterday, but I did manage to get to page 300 um, before the Rasmus yesterday because I didn't want to ruin it by having to worry about reading when I got home or having to worry about reading on the way there. So I just read for like, I think it was like 40, 50 minutes uh, before we went. And so um, I managed to get to page 400 and today I want to get to page 500 and tomorrow I want to finish it. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to do that and how much reading will ensue because I do have a really long day today. I have uni from um, 10 till 11 and I have a massive gap and I'm not sure what time I actually start. I should probably clarify with my timetable what time I actually start. And then I finish at five, then have work at six, for five hours until 11 and I won't get home until 12. I got up at 20 to eight. And this day is this day is gonna be the longest. I think it's gonna be the longest day. I'm gonna be so tired. But a few Red Bull, a few cups of tea, and I should be okay. Um, but I'm gonna go finish getting ready, and I'll talk to you a bit later, maybe. Hello, it's me again. Um, it is Tuesday, and I'm about to render this and upload this. It is about 25 to five, so you won't be getting it until like the evening. Um, but I thought I would upload it still because I've had some really big technical difficulties with this vlog and with my Mac. Um, nothing bad, nothing is broken. Touch wood, touch my bedside table. It's just a storage that was getting on my nerves, but I do have a swanky little two terabyte hard drive now, which I can store all my vlog video stuff on um, and actually have just my basic stuff on my laptop. So that should be fixed now, but I had a little bit of a difficulty trying to edit this and get this up on Sunday. If that hadn't have been an issue, it would have been up as normal, but unfortunately that was an issue and I have solved it, I think. Fingers crossed. Um, if I hadn't solved it, then Callum can help me um, or my mum can help me because she also has a hard drive as well. Videos might be a little bit delayed, um, but please bear with me. I actually didn't film anything else apart from my little haul from the Erasmus because I had a really busy weekend at work and I got sick, which was amazing. I had to take a day off work. I really didn't want to, but I couldn't stomach walking to the bus stop. I think I have Fresh's flu. You can kind of hear it now. I've kind of like... In the back end of it, I think I did eventually get fresh as well. I think it all caught up with me because I had a really long day on Friday and then Saturday I had a really long day as well. And then Sunday I got ill and I was supposed to work on Sunday, which was pretty annoying. Um, so that's why I didn't vlog. I did actually do loads of reading and I have done loads of reading today as well, which obviously I'll update you in next week's vlog, which I haven't even started yet because I hadn't edited this one and it felt wrong. Let's turn my little lamp next to my bookshelves on so that you can actually see me. I managed to finish City of Heavenly Fire this week. I feel like I haven't spoke about it at all, but I gave it a five out of five stars. I cried like a baby on Sunday night trying to finish this, trying to get through it. I read it in its entirety, 630-ish pages, and I gained, uh, I think it was 10 points for the Simpsathon, which is worth it for me. Um, so I finished this, I gave it a five out of five stars. You'll have to hear more about my thoughts in my wrap-up, October wrap-up, that will be coming at the end of October slash beginning of November, depending on when I finish books and stuff like that. But I also finished Saga Volume 5, just to say that I finished two things this week. This also gained me uh six points because i swapped it out with another saga volume which i'll talk about in next week's vlog um for my final love challenge since i didn't want to read um seed and storm anymore so i fell in love with this one and it gave me six points and it was like a five minute read so it, that's amazing so i managed to finish two things this week i actually have also already finished one thing this week so i'm starting my next week for the synthathon 
So tune in next week to see that. But for now, thank you so much for watching this vlog. It's a little bit scattered. It's a little bit doesn't make sense. And I thought I was going to do better this time. I think I did better, just not the best that I can personally do. Give it a like and my channel will subscribe if you want to, if you enjoy this kind of stuff. I have loads of loads of good things planned for the next few months. And I'm actually considering doing Vlogmas this year, which might be a little bit stressful. But who knows? Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you this week for all of my lovely content coming up. Mwah! Bye! One, four, three, blah! I forgot, not gonna lie.